Hey guys, welcome to the channel, Taking the Bathroom. The bathroom is the only place where you can play with your gadgets in peace. On this channel, we do product reviews and also some tutorials. And today, we want to talk about open broadcast software. That's right guys, OBS. And I want to share with you some of the most common mistakes that people make with their OBS settings. And I want to share with you how I discovered these things the hard way. So the first thing I want to talk about is display capture. The second thing I want to talk about is green screening. And the third and final thing we want to talk about video and audio syncs. One, two, three. Not syncs, sync. <laughs> so let's jump right into it. What, what I'm talking about. Alright, guys, let's jump right into it. Hopefully, the video goes a little better than that intro. So, display capture. Now, right here I have scene three. And you see I have display capture right here, highlighted right here, display capture. And this is how it is supposed to look. It's supposed to capture my display. So therefore, when I go to my desktop, you're able to record your desktop. If I was to go online, open up Google Chrome, I can record that in any tutorial that I'm doing or anything I wanna highlight via my desktop you're able to capture that however guys I changed my laptop and in this laptop in this laptop I had a different graphic card um, and a video graphics card and so when I would open this up my display capture it was great so one of the things I discovered by watching YouTube um, tutorials and videos lots and lots of hours of reading is that I had to come right here and I had to right clip right click and I had to go to my the video graphics card so I open up that panel opens up you want to go to program settings and then you want to make sure that you have in program settings you want to make sure that you have OBS added if you don't have it you want to click right there and add it and when you go to the graphics card you want to change it from your graphics card in my case the um, the video processor on the video graphics card and you want to change it into the integrated graphics card so whatever graphics card that you have other than your NVIDIA which probably is your native graphics card Intel or something like that go ahead and click that click apply and when you're done then you will be able to come here and capture your screen so that's tip number one tip number two guys is green screen you see right here uh, this is not the perfect green screening, but I struggled and had many, many problems getting my green screen correct. Let's go right here to main camera. You want to go right here to filters, and you have the chroma key effect. Now, this is what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go ahead and delete this camera, and I'm going to add it right quick. I know you can't see it, but I just want to show you that I'm going to video capture device. I'm going to click that <clears throat> and the first thing it does is it wants to choose my webcam I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose the Elgato Capture HD so I have a DSLR connected to the Elgato Capture um, device and what's going to happen is that it's going to read it and there you see I have my green screen right here so one of the things you see if I have a, a printer right here I have a light right here a tablet right here and on this side of the wall I have other things but right behind me I have a green screen now because I have all of this stuff right here I have enough lighting but the green screen still have some dark shadow spots so this is how you get rid of that the first thing I want to do is try to chroma key everything out so I want to right click I want to go to filter and when you see effect filters you want to go and add chroma key hit ok and voila it instantly um, key everything out now you could adjust it right here when you see smooth you could adjust it when you have smoothness similarities and all whatever and your chroma key but what I what I do from this point on guys is I hit out and I just gradually grab the corners and bring them in again while holding out grab I grab the corners of 
my display and I drag it in so this is a good way of cropping everything out and you guys can see that real time and then I just adjust where I want to be and I can just scale it up too by grab, grabbing the corners and scaling everything up make sure that I highlight it and I just position myself for this scene in the bathroom right here so this is my bathroom graphic scene and I can just play with it play with it play with it play with it until I get exactly where I want it guys and you can mess around with that so again you want to go ahead and chroma key it out and then you want to grab the edges by pressing out and then adjust the crop as needed the last and final thing guys I want to share with you is audio and video sync so because I have a DSLR connected to my laptop via the Elgato capture card I had a lot of video and audio sync issues now what I was able to do is come right here to you see my primary mic my auxiliary mic and I have that set to the Yeti mic I go right here to advanced auto properties and then you see right here when you see sync offset I set this to around 1500 and if I'm if I'm still having trouble then you can go right here to uh, video capture you go to filters and you go to the video filter and you can go to auto sync delay and what you can do you can add nearly seconds and you play around with the video delay and you keep playing around with the audio delay until you get as close as possible people all right guys hopefully those three tips help you out and your obs settings will be better because of it as always guys thanks for coming to my bathroom and help me review my gadgets today was our tutorial on our obs settings don't forget to subscribe and also hit that bell notification so you can be up to date with all of our latest videos peace subscribe 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 don't forget to subscribe and also hit that notification button so you can be up to date with all of my latest videos